Let us now talk about geostationary orbits. Now, this is a special kind of orbit that we need to understand in this uh, A-level syllabus. And geostationary basically means that if I'm on the Earth, okay, let's say I'm over here, okay, and I look up into the sky, I will see a satellite, and no matter when I look up, right, it doesn't matter whether what time it is or what part of the year or month or day it is, when I look up, that satellite is always going to be there. And so you'll understand that for a geostationary satellite, basically, if the Earth is rotating in this manner, then my satellite has to also rotate in a similar manner. And so that it is always above the, the same point or directly above the same point on the Earth at all times. And so now we shall try to understand what are the conditions that make this possible. So of course, since the Earth has an orbital period of 24 hours, then your satellite must also have an orbital period of 24 hours. Now, the next condition is that since the Earth always rotates from west to east, then the satellite must also rotate from west to east. The last condition is a little bit tricky, and that is that the satellite must always be directly above the equator. Now, the reason why this is so is because of the axis of the Earth's rotation. Well, the Earth rotates about this vertical axis over here. And so you want this satellite to also have the same axis of rotation as the Earth. And the only way it can achieve that is to be above the equator because remember that the centripetal force is created by the gravitational force, which always points towards the center of the Earth. So consider a scenario where your satellite may be like down here, not above the uh, equator, right? in which case the gravitational force acts this way, and then it would rotate around the Earth like this, which is going to be on a different axis, and therefore you cannot be geostationary. And so these are the conditions for geostationary satellites. Okay, Just also bear in mind that geostationary satellites have very high orbital orbits, right? almost 42,000 kilometers. Okay, this is like six or seven times the radius of the Earth. Okay, and so we usually use geostationary satellites for communication satellites. Okay, you know, just think of your 4G and your GPS. You want your satellite to always be there. Right? It can be used as a weather, weather satellites. It can map the location of clouds and movement of clouds very well. Okay, but of course, some disadvantages of a geostationary satellite because of its high orbit, well, it's of course difficult to launch, it's difficult to maintain, right? and also it might have poor resolution because you're so high up.